good evening. Hope you are doing well. Uh, we are going to learn how to compare two models, two models having the same root. Why to compare two models? Okay, please, for those who, are, who have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and it will allow you to have the uh, videos. Okay, why? I was just asking why to compare two models. There are um, some study where you have the choice to, uh, you have the choice uh, between um, various models, but you want to know the one which is best, the one which can fit um, in the best way uh, your study. For example, when we are just um, studying uh, efficiency, we have the choice to choose scope do glass or transform uh, function. But we cannot choose it because we went. Uh, we need some statistical tests which can allow us to choose freely. Uh, in that case, we can just, for example, use log likely good ratio test to compare the models we have and take the best one. Then, for example, here, the first example we are just showing you the Cobb Douglas production function. As you can see, this one and the now. Uh, uh, those one, uh, uh, this one, translog production function. As you can see, they are not in linear form. Then we have to make them a uh, linear to have the linear form. We are just applying natural log, and at the end, this one will become like this, and this one will become like that. Okay, and now that means that if we have data, we have to linearize again our data before to do whatever we want to do. And to see between Cobb to glass and transform, which one is the best one, uh, which one is fitting well our data. Okay, let us see how data can look like. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can, we can have from the from from the field we can have data like this. Then we have to we have to convert them in. Uh, in uh, we have to linearize it. Then apply natural log ln. And that we have everything. Can can you see when um, I type here? I can you can see that this one is the natural log of the A2. This one is the natural log of A3. It's what I did for A all independent variables and independent variables in here. Then this part also will serve us to just run the log Cobb Douglas uh, production function as uh, to have those elements of um, um, law function, we have to add also those kind of things. And first of all, we have to uh, brought uh, to to bring this data in data and now to run our various functions. Then around here, what I can do, uh, let us now import this data. We are just looking. Okay, now I'm going to take my data from there. Okay. okay, I have already my data. And let's ask check. Okay, that's the data we were just talking about. Let's ask now run our model. And to run Cobb to glass, I'm just using the natural log of dependent variable and the natural log of the first independent variable, natural log of the second dependent independent variable, and the natural log of the third independent variable. I have the result. Now I have to store it. To store my uh, result and call it, for example, model eight, for example. Now I have also uh, to run my um, translog functions, considering the first part, which is uh, the Cobb Douglas model, and now the interactions between those independent variables. Now let's go. Okay, I have also this one, I have the result. I have also to store it before to do the likelihood ratio test. Then I can call this one model line. Okay. Now I can do my test, LR test. Model eight, model nine. Okay, 
uh, the null hypothesis is saying here that the restricted model, uh, in our case, Cobb Douglas model is the best one, is the one which is fitting our data. But we need to assess just after the test, we'll see if we have to reject uh, the null hypothesis or we have to accept it. Okay. Uh, the test is done, likelihood ratio test, and we can have the p value. The p value is less than 5%. In that we have to reject our H node. Well, the H node was saying that the code Douglas is the good one and we are the best one and we are rejecting it now because p value is less than 5%. Then we are taking the alternative hypothesis, which is saying that the complete one or the transfer one is the best one. Then when it's like that, the rule of likelihood ratio test, we just compare those models based on their likelihood ratio. And this is the one which is best uh, for, for our study, according to the data we, are, we have. Now, that is the one point. Let us continue with other example. Here, for example, the second one is we have two linear model, but only that the first one is complete, like having more variables, independent variables. And here, this one can be called a restrict one, in the sense that we can have the, uh, this part inside um, our um, uh, linear model. Let us run it, we'll run and store it first and now store this one also. And now do the test, the same test we, we are just doing. And we have also to import our data first before to do that. Okay, as you can see, this one, uh, the, <clears throat> this data we are talking, we are talking about is here. You can just run now our uh, model that that has run the first model, the rest model, which is composed of the dependent variable and the four independent variable. We have it first, and now we can store it. Okay, we can call it mod model model. Okay, something like that. Now let us now um, run the complete one. Okay. We have everything now. We run. We can store also it. The quality model B. Now we have model A and model B. We can do our like, uh, li, uh, yeah, log likelihood ratio test, LR test. Model A, model B. Okay, the result is there. And as you can see again, the p value uh, is less than 5%. And there we are rejecting the H0, which is saying that the restrict model or the one which is restricted is the good one. Then here, we are just also making conclusion that the complete one is the good one for our data, our study, that is. Now that's the rule of the likelihood ratio test. When we have two models to take one, we can just do like log likelihood ratio test to, to see the best one. Now let us proceed again. We have the last case where we have two linear model, for example, that one has a log, a natural log, and the second one um, does not have. Uh, can you see what is happening here, for example? We have the same number of variables, but only that this one ha has a, a natural log. We are calling it log log model since we have a line everywhere. And here we have this one, just we can call it linear model. Now we want to see uh, which one will be the best uh, if you have to uh, use it in uh, one study, which one will be the, the, the best to give us the good result. Then let us re regress, okay? Here, for example, we don't need even to regress, we have just to apply the test and then frag. This one, we are, here we are not using 
log likelihood ratio test that we are just going directly. We will use like uh, the dependent variable and now the independent variable. Let's uh, suppose that this data is the one we are all, also using. The numbers of independent variables are four here. Now it will take in account the, uh, the two models at the same time. The one which is without uh, LN and the one having LN. Okay, can we see what is happening? We have now many tests, even at the result of many tests. Can we have box, box cost test, era MC LN, and test Stalin's marking test? What is happening around here? As we can see, the value of P value is beta everywhere. It's like we accept the H mode everywhere, saying that the linear model is good. Uh, also, saying uh, again that log log model is good meaning that whatever the model we are just taking here, it can uh, give us good result. Uh, it can give us something which is that's called acceptable. Yeah, that is. Then this one is just, well, it's not like log likelihood uh, ratio test here, but uh, LM frag. And this one is applying when we have the model, the same model where you are applying LN and where there is no LN, you want to see which one will be the best then you can just use it. Hope that this one will help you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Yeah, have a good night.